and had a yin and yang eye when he was a child, can see the spirits of the dead roaming the earth, and this was the first time she saw them at home. Melon thought maybe he needed help. Sure enough that night, the figure reappeared. He told Melon that he had lost his memory. He couldn't find his way home. His wife was pregnant and about to give birth. All he remembered was that he was a sergeant named Paul. He asks Melon to take him home. He disappeared after saying that. The next day Melon overlooks a martyr's memorial in the park. Curious she walked over and saw Paul's name. It says that Paul disappeared in 1972 during the Vietnam War. To learn more about it, Melon went to the VFW. She got Paul's basic information from the person in charge. According to the above information, Melon went to Paul's home. After questioning, she learned that the man in front of him was Paul's son. When Melon mentioned his father, he only knew that his father had disappeared that year. His body has not been found yet, although he had never met him. But his mother always talked to him about Paul, so he had a lot of respect for his father. He always believed he was still alive. Then he spoke to Melon. If there's any news about his father, he would tell him, because he also wanted to meet the father he had never seen. After saying that he went to the door to talk to his pregnant wife, looking at the heartwarming scene before him, Melon wasn't going to tell him that his father was dead. Until the day Paul found Melon again. Melon told him, Do you remember what happened in Vietnam? Paul listened and began to remember. He was in a helicopter on a mission. The enemy shot down the plane he was in. All he could see at that point was a waterfall. All he could think about was his wife and the baby he was about to give birth to. Then Melon took Paul to his tombstone. When Paul saw it he couldn't believe it. I can't pay. My wife. She's pregnant. She had a son three months after you reported this. After that Melon told him about his son, when Paul asked about his wife, Melon told him helplessly. I'm so sorry. He mentioned that she died a while ago. Paul listened with great sadness. After he asked what his son's name was, Paul was even sadder, because his name was the name of Paul's father, just as he had wanted. But Paul did not do his duty as a father. He blamed himself a bit. He wanted Melon to let him meet with his wife. He wanted to apologize to her in person. For this request, Melon was very understanding. But there was nothing she could do, because she could only see the spirits that had not been redeemed. Finally Paul wanted Melon to tell her son the truth. Melon agreed to do so. But when she broke the news, his son didn't believe she could see spirits at all.